The elementary Bible verse comes from John seventeen three. It says, Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. On Sunday morning, after the women found the tomb empty, Mary Magdalene stood outside the tomb and cried. Mary turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not recognize him. Jesus asked her, why are you crying? Who is it you are seeking? Mary thought that Jesus was a gardener. Sir, please tell me where you have put him. Mary, Jesus called her name. Mary turned around. Rabbani, she said. Rabbani means teacher in the Aramaic language. Mary hurried to tell the disciples, I have seen the Lord. On Sunday evening after Jesus' death, the disciples were together. They were afraid, so they had the doors locked. Suddenly, Jesus stood in front of them. He said, Peace to you. The disciples realized that it really was Jesus, and they celebrated. Thomas, one of the disciples, was not in the room when Jesus appeared. The others told him, We have seen Jesus. Thomas did not believe the disciples. Thomas told them, Unless I see the marks in his hands, I will never believe. Eight days later, the disciples were once again inside. This time, Thomas was with them. Again, the doors were locked, but that didn't stop Jesus. Jesus came and stood with the disciples. He said, peace to you. Next, Jesus spoke to Thomas. Look at my hands and touch them. Don't be an unbeliever, but a believer. Thomas answered, my Lord and my God. He believed. Jesus said, you have seen me, so you have believed. Those who believe without seeing are blessed. Jesus didn't only want the disciples to believe in him. He wants every single person to know, understand, and believe that he died so that our sins could be forgiven and we could have a relationship with him. Our text truth for this week says, We are called to believe that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. This is an activity that we would have done as a class, but you can do as a family after watching the playlist. First, as a group, retell the Bible story. Start by giving each piece a title and then talk about important events like this. The first thing we heard was about Mary being at the tomb. Then when you're all done talking about the events, give each person a blank storyboard like this one or work on one together. Draw pictures for each part of the, st of the story like this. Making sure that they are in order. You can go back to John 20, chapter 20, verses 11 through 31 to double check if you need to.